it's Aaron Hickman and I'm here with the fab Tony Prutch and this is his house and I'm trying to pick my mouth up off the ground because it's so jaw-droppingly awesome it's like true form it's like everywhere you look there's like it's just totally you like totally above and beyond I mean the the front is beautiful but anyway so I'm interested to know you build houses for everyone else we do and now the shoes on the other foot this one's been fun. And you've built a house for your, your family. Yeah, so this this is for me and my wife, obviously, and then, uh, you know, we have three three mm -hmm. children, and we have five and a half grandbabies, one on the way. Oh, so, um, congratulations. I'll show you uh, upstairs here in a little bit the, the kids' bunk room, which is a, a really neat, neat spot. Okay. But, uh, you can slide your tickets across. The um, the artist that I've introduced mm -hmm. you to downstairs, she's actually painted all this. This looks like it's marble. This is all oh, paint. Oh, she did. Yeah. Sue. Sue is her yep. name. Yep, Sue. Sue Green. I feel like you need the um, the Zoltar head I know, here. right? It's like, you do. release them, you know? Yeah. yeah, from big. But yeah, every bit of that, that's all hand painted. Amazing. Um, when the movie starts, mm -hmm. the, there's actually drapes that come across here. There'll be movie poster, you know, that goes in there in the Mylar, just like in a real oh. movie theater. When the movie starts, the drapes will actually close. When the movie's over, the drapes will open up and go back in. So, a lot of work going on in here, but this is all the equipment that's going to be controlling the house. Now, um, is that a climate controlled room that yeah, you have that in? It is, it sure is. Um, all the sound panels on the wall, they're still working through a bunch of that kind of stuff. We yeah. have the 4D chairs that, um, that move and, and and work in conjunction with either the movie. Do you have the 4D chairs in your model? I do. Over in, okay. Yeah, sure and, do. If people haven't walked through his model home, that's just a must. Yeah, why don't you give them the address of your model, Tony? Sure, 1680 Jan Marie, J-A-N-M-A-R-I-E, and that's in Luca. And we've actually got a, a video built on that, too. So these are all sound panels here, so there's, mm -hmm. there's basically an inch and a half of insulation that's back behind the fabric. Okay. Uh, my mom and I, um, two weekends ago, actually came out here. We built all the panels and... Um, and made those, wrapped them with the, the fabric. So kind of brought me back to some of my Absolutely. younger get, days when we were doing theaters in the dark. Get get the true true theater experience here. There'll be a star ceiling in there where okay. it's got comments yeah. that shoot across the, the How ceiling. many gallons is this? Um, this is right at 500 gallons. 500 um, gallons. These two, uh, these two pieces we just had made, built, that piece will actually sit on top and then this lower piece slides in, it covers up all the equipment. My goodness. Fish tanks are really unique, so the part that you see that's pretty and all that is just that. It's the, the clean filtered water, similar to what we were talking right. about in the pond outside. But all the working stuff underneath is, is literally, an, uh, it's, it's a system in itself. I mean, Absolutely. You're filterizing uh, a, the there's water. There's a lot and, of mechanicals happening down there. There's a lot going on. So you have a company that comes and services this for We do, you? yeah. Aqua, uh, Aqua Group in uh, Plano. Aqua Group yeah. in Plano, okay. And is that a little dog door? Uh -huh. Yeah, a little dog door there. That's important. That'll go out to a little separate area where the... Just tucked away. Air hockey so. in Port Tante. Okay. Yeah, so we're going down into the basement. Y'all, this is... Killer. Michelle wanted a place to be able to show all of her guitars and stuff like that. So I call her Mo, and so it's Tony and Mo's basement Tony bar. Tony and Mo's basement cool. bar would never leave. So there's the Van Halen tribute mural, which is amazing. Yeah, it's, um, so uh, Sue had, had painted all this, and then uh, Eddie Van Halen died. So I had her come back and add the, the red Eddie Van Halen guitar. To, signature. All good. Intense, all. See how those are wine holders in the middle. Love that. Just okay. I gotta go show them this real quick too. On the back side of the bar, you have a you have a dual keg kegerator over there. You've got your ice machine and then just your beverages for your mixed drinks. This is not your college bar, kids. There'll be a TV here. Uh, Michelle has all these old videos of MTV that we'll be playing down here and it'll I be connected her. from here and over there. So Again. That's the other fish tank I was telling you about earlier. So that's about 250 gallons and then you have the TV that you see that's kind of blended into the wall. That's insane. 
It's just this. I I love this. Well, thank you. I love. I feel like I'm in hard rock. It's that. You, That's what I you feel just, like. Uh, you just made me made my day because the idea behind this is she wanted something that was going to look like the Hard Rock Cafe. That's and exactly that was the what goal I feel like. You know what? I want you guys to print yeah. t-shirts and you, I want you to have them so when people come and visit. Done. You visited Tony, the Hard Rock Cafe. You've, you've been at <laughs> Tony and Moe's basement bar. I'm telling you, that's, that's going to be a so thing. Check this out. Another hidden door. So okay. it just looks like it's paneled. But as you come in here, all of your sump pump and everything, the working mechanisms for the basement are all right in there. But out of sight, out of mind. Great storage area, and we utilize the other side of the store. How many, how many square feet do we have down here, you think? Just in the basement, it's yeah. right at about 1,200 square 1200 feet. 1,200 square feet. Yeah. And then uh, you have the exercise room in there. Thought that'd be a great opportunity if Michelle wants to, Michelle can work out and I can sit in here and drink beer. Absolutely. And Watch I really her don't even drink a lot of beer. Encourage her. <laughs> yeah. Go, Michelle. Yay, good job. Oh, no. Oh, we're good. Sorry. Oh, hey, Aaron, my little wire got up. hung up. So, the this was the original um, design when Michelle was saying she wanted to the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah. This was the original design that shows uh, how all of this is built, and the sides, which are marble, and the reflection of the light on there, and how it's going to accent off of the pictures. But yeah, that was the. Uh, so when you say custom. It's, You've got to frame this and put yeah, this somewhere it's in here. Truly custom. It, so this no, is really. listening to, no different than it being a customer, listening to what she's trying to achieve, sketching it out. Did so. you learn anything in this process, doing this for the for you guys that you think you could share with your future customers? Well, I can tell you, for 31 years, I thought my wife's favorite color was green, only to find out through <laughs> this that it's blue. Really? <laughs> so you know you. Uh, if, if you really do it right and mm -hmm. you work with each other, you're going to end up with something that's phenomenal mm -hmm. for yourselves. But it takes, um, it takes compromise. It takes, uh, you have to stop, step back, listen, and, uh, and, and really try to achieve something that works for both people because, you know, right. I've, I've got great ideas and they're the best idea ever. Well, she's got great ideas, they're the best idea ever. And, uh, you know, me being a designer, I can be a little bit more overpowering right. than she is. And I really had to find myself stepping back and really trying to listen to what she wants mm -hmm. and then design it to where it all works. This right. picture being a great idea. Right. When you see that and then you see it actually right. you know, built yeah. and then you look at it at the same time, you're like, oh, wow, that's perfect. So it's just, you might talk about, too, uh, that you do all the design. You I do, yes. Yeah, that's real important to me. And um, I guess if I had any, any faults out there, um, I take the design portions of it extremely personal. So, uh, you know, I get a little bit behind every now and then. But I'll tell you, the one-on-one -on -one experience of truly sitting down and designing a home, uh, I'll never let that go. It's... Yeah. It's the reason for our success today is, is the design and then the execution of the design. But doing something that's not normal. I mean, no. you don't see this kind of stuff no. on every day in a production no. world. You just don't see it. And I want those customers to have that, that uniqueness to the home. Absolutely. And that's what's, what I love about your model house is because I think... You know, anybody that's coming into a project, even if you're like remodeling a bathroom, sometimes you need a little something extra Absolutely. to help like jump the creativity level sure. up a notch. Mm -hmm. And so I always refer to your model on Jan Marie as like the wonderland of all like models because it's it's just like everything that you could possibly think of, Correct. in my opinion, is in there. Yep. So it's just like what a great, you know, launching pad starting point for somebody that's going to build to just find some really cool ideas that they can tweak to what they want. Yeah, and, and, the, and the simplicity of it too. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, to, to do something extremely hard and make it look simple isn't easy. Right. I mean, it, uh, that's true. But at, at the end of it, you just look at, you know, the picture in the wall. You don't realize all the work that's went behind it and the thought right. process that goes behind it. I just want our customers to experience that. Well, you on get a, a feeling basis. like well, you, it is an experience yeah. when you walk, and it's like just walking through this house is an experience. Like the the feeling that you have, like in this room, mm -hmm. it's just like pure fun. Yeah, that's what it's like designed to be. Like pure fun, good times. So, Love it. Uh, so in Love here, it. this would be the exercise room, obviously. I like the fan. Reading, motivational scripture, things like that. Yeah, um, that's good. It's that's something good. that I do a lot of. Um, some of the statements that are getting painted on the walls, 
So just, you're a, you're a big mindset motivation. guy. You're a great very builder, much but so. you're a very much so. massive, yeah. positive mindset. You're Absolutely. I, you, I don't think I've ever talked to you where you've been in a bad mood, ever. I don't think you'll find it Me, very often. Me, on the often. other hand, yeah. it's always I'm really good at hiding it, I guess. But, I don't know. You're um, always pretty upbeat Well, when you Well, when, uh, when you get into a bad mood, you lose control. And so if you lose control, then you can't achieve anything. So right. you're better to keep your thoughts uh, positive, work towards a solution. Yeah. You're going to get out of whatever that issue is a lot quicker if you can come up to a compromise of whatever it is. What time do you wake up in the morning? Uh, typically around 5 to 5.15. I'm usually driving, walking houses by 5.30. Really? Yeah. And so then, what's the first thing you do when you get out of bed? Well, obviously just get dressed and brush your teeth. And by then I'm already checking emails and text messages. You know, the, everyone that works for us has, has gotten used to uh, me sending emails and text messages and, you know, early in the morning. So. I know somebody like that. <laughs> Tom? Except I go to bed about Well, I mean, early bird catches the worm, right? Yeah. So if, if you've got things on your mind, the best thing you can do is disperse them out to the people that can take care of them. So if you can get it done early enough, then you can be the first person on their schedule yeah, and uh, it's always good to tell them that it's coming and then remind them that morning when they're supposed to be there. Hey, don't forget, you know, you're supposed to be here at eight o'clock. I'll see you there. What's your favorite thing to do for downtime? Uh, you know, <laughs> do you like to have downtime? You know, it's, it's interesting because my, uh, my work in the design is my hobby as well. Mm -hmm. So I love to draw. I love to design. I love to look for new things. Um, look at the history of, of arches or look at the history of, you know, a certain, you know, uh, French provincial. Mm -hmm. Study what French provincial is and how do you decorate that and modernize it to as where it, it works. As it today. As it works in today's mm -hmm. uh, world. So that, spending time with the, with the kiddos, obviously Michelle and I, we do everything together. And, um, and then, you know, I've got a, I've got a few cars that, uh, that I, you know, play with here and there. So, um, the shop area is about 3,200 square feet. We've got a couple car lifts in there and, you know, playing with old cars is really kind of my, you know, that's my fun time. The other day, uh, Giovanni was and Vincent were out here and, and uh, we're organizing the shop. Yeah. There's nothing better than a four-year-old boy looking up to you as he's handing you bolts and saying, oh, Pops, this is fun. So you're Pops? I'm, yeah, I'm pops. pops. Yeah. So, uh, that's that's how I want to spend my time. Yeah, you know, work hard and then and come come home and enjoy the things that we worked hard for. Yeah. So one of a kind, one so, of a kind. Uh, Aaron, you might uh, mention that we just uh, Tony's got one of our clients. He's going to be building a home for us, mm -hmm. and you had told them that you feel like you can get it completed by when next year. Which which uh, customer is the? I think those are Heather's. Oh, okay. yeah, right. Yeah, so I mean, I even I think I even put a. a I thought that's pretty amazing. I uh, I placed a, a a wager on it that I'd have it done. I, I want to say that uh, I promised them I'd have it done, or I'd have, I'd give them a a pretty substantial discount if I didn't. So. And that was by October. Of yeah, that I'd have them in by end October. Of, end of October. Mm -hmm. And we're in. Uh, yeah, the first of December. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's 10 months. Yeah, 10 months. So our cycle time from the time we start to the time you move right. in is eight to 10 months. Um, yesterday, so um, I designed two homes for them mm -hmm. uh, earlier in the week. Met with them yesterday. And it's not normal that you meet a customer, come up with a design. Right. You know, they love the design and, and the next day you're writing a contract. That's not the way it so really- you're not having to go through an architect. They can already see what you've done. Right. They see your work. Well, so in yesterday's meeting, it was the first time they had seen the plans. We'd sent it over to them the night before, so they had a little bit of time to study it. And they really didn't like both designs. And I'm like, well, great, so why don't you come in? Let's sit together. Mm -hmm. They brought in, you know, a picture of this master bedroom, a picture of this <coughs> master bathroom. They wanted a different uh, layout. Mm -hmm. They wanted to keep the open field, but they wanted everything directed to the back of the house. So reversing the kitchen and, and, and then moving the study to the back of the house. And, and so literally we sat there and we sketched everything up. And by the time they left, they knew exactly what the house was going to be. Wow. And now all I have to do is go enter that into the computer, sure. draft it, create the square footage. And then from that, I do all my multiplication and we can give them a price. Because right. you know exactly what your products cost per square foot. And That's correct. The amount of 
Yeah. You know, everything is, you got down to a, a detail. I also know what the customer is trying to achieve. I, 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 can't, I can't stress enough how important it is. If you know what they're thinking, if you, mm -hmm. it, and you can put it on paper, well, now you're pricing. Uh, you can help guide them on the things that they're not thinking about, whether it's a floor plug or wood right. on the ceiling or right. the look that they're trying to achieve. You can, once you've had those meetings, you, you get to know them. You become friends. You, right. you, and yeah, then all absolutely. you got to do is just execute at that point. Execution is the easy part. Right. It's all of the things that happen before you execute that are creating the relationship and the important part of it. It's just so. cool the amount of business that you do. Um, I think you told me, is it is it 60 homes this year that you will have completed? You know, uh, my, my CFO would, would shoot me for saying that, but yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing a, a I, I, I did Apologies, a deal this morning Jenny. here. Yeah, love you, Jenny. So, I mean, currently we have uh, 26 homes that are under construction. We've closed, I wanna say six this month. Wow. Um, so we have 26 under construction. We have 10 of them that are in permitting. Um, eight closings in the first quarter and 33 new starts. So. And I'm sure not one even close to being a million dollars. They're all well above that. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the days of, of a, a home in the 800s are in, in this area. Not that right. we can't build them. I mean, we right. have Carter Landing and we have some Absolutely. other uh, Rowlett and some of that's those. Important. That's important to know. Because yeah. I think we do have people that do come visit the model on the weekends that aren't necessarily building out here. That's but correct. they, you know, that is something we always want to educate people on is that, right. yes, you can build something spectacular. Land prices out here just that's command exactly. a higher price point, but yeah, you are in other areas. Your, your land is your driving factor. I right. mean, if you take a 4,500 square foot house, let's just say that that's, you know, around 700,000 mathematically. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a that's not an expensive home. I mean there's right. a, a lot of people out there that can afford a 700,000 home. The problem is is that you add the land to it. Right. Well, if you go to Harbor uh, Harbor Oaks, I mean you're looking at a 450. Um yeah, you're looking at 450,000. Well, now you just took a $700,000 right. home and you're at a million 150. Right. So the the land and the location is and the expense absolutely? And there's even further out, like into Salina. Yeah, move into Salina. You know that same exact home is going to be you know nine hundred to nine fifty. Like Cottage Hill. Cottage Hill. That's beautiful. So Cottage beautiful Hill is actually right next door to Carter Lane. Yeah, yes. Carter Lane. So, so that's um, there's options, and actually the west side of seventy five in that area, great school district too. It's another, all living that way. Yeah. I mean, it's you know Salina today is what Prosper was five years right. ago. Um, right. Salina will soon become... Salina has more land mass than Plano or equal to, I think? I think equal, at least equal to. It that might have, have, have more. That's crazy, that. yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, I, uh, we have a very strong um, presence in Salina. And, uh, it's a cool place. Um, I'm putting an enormous amount of energy into that area. I, I just think it's beautiful. Oh, it's, Salina is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's it, absolutely it really gorgeous. Is. Great schools. I always say you've got the 75 side of life and the tollway side of yep, life. And that's so exactly that's right. kind of Salina and Prosper over that way. Yeah. I always love talking with you. Like my day just gets better. Well, thank you. So, and as busy as you are, and you always just take time to chill and hang out with us and keep us educated. And I have to tell you in some of our team meetings, not that you're going to include this in the video, but I swear so much of our team meeting now on Tuesdays is dedicated. There's so much conversation about Jay Anthony, Good. Tony, Jay Anthony, what happened to the model, what we're trying to find for other people or where yeah. we're trying to position people. So I just thank you. I think our relationship's grown in good directions this year and really, really appreciate well, you. Well, you're absolutely welcome. I mean, I, I know I, it I, hasn't I, been easy edit point, but I know it hasn't been super, super easy, but well, I just like, appreciate you still again, partnering you with know, us. Sometimes, you know, you, uh, you get into situations and you just got to reevaluate what those Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Um, but you don't uh, you don't change course on you what you agreed to. You just keep pushing, pushing through. Pushing ahead cuz you'll get you through know. it. Yeah, you're you get through it. You're going to get through it and at the end everyone's going to be like, "Oh wow, that right. wasn't as bad." That's right. But you don't typically see the benefits of all of the hard work when you're in the middle of the fight. Grow through what you go through. That's exactly right. So you know, did you want to go outside and look at your um, garage? It's uh, we we can, but it's it's, uh, it's they're starting to move furniture and stuff in okay. there, so maybe we'll catch that on the. Get the chef kitchen. Yeah, let's go take a look at it. Okay. I'll show you upstairs too. The kids' retreat's kind of neat. Okay. Favorite spot in the house. I just want to note it for the video. <laughs> so cool.
Stevie D would love this. We were, uh, we were out here uh, three nights ago in uh, Bentley. My granddaughter was uh, staying the night, or staying the weekend with us. And uh, her and Michelle were playing foosball. And she beat Michelle three times. And so uh, Michelle's like, let's go play hockey.